He did. He definitely did. He shouldn't last too much longer. Okay, what we're gonna do here is just start casting haste. Because I'm cheap. And hopefully this guy will be dead in short order. You free, do your damage. Probably a good thing I cast slow on him in the first place, otherwise this would be very painful. Wow, that almost killed her. Please die here. I don't think he has too much health left, so... Here to one her, please. And you go for E3. Hooray. And he's done. Huh, Ifrit? What are you? Grandma! You're getting better. Really? If it were possible. Stop, Ifrit. This isn't between us. Really? So he just like, quits because we have Ifrit, so... Yep. That way I have to actually you before I forget, like an idiot. And actually I have to use it at the menu screen to learn Ifrit. Which I don't understand the point of that, since I didn't have to do that for like... For not Ifrit, but for Rama I have to do it at the menu screen. I don't think I had to do that for any other Esper from what I can remember. I can't remember having to do it for Shiva. As a matter of fact, I didn't do it for Shiva because she gave me the Ice Rod for sure after I beat her. She just kind of lent her power to me. Same with Ifrit. For Rama, I actually have to like equip him. It's kind of... yeah. I don't understand why you'd have to, but... Well, I know like to deal damage you'd have to equip him, but... I understand why he's not auto-equipped. I'm just gonna go north because it's probably faster. Because the next place I have to go is going to be quite annoying to get to, from what I remember. Come on, let's go. Where are we? About to pass by it completely, that's where we are. Yeah, you can't fly over the snow-capped mountains, obviously, but... I literally have to park way over here. So you can tell how happy I am about this already. So, we're just going to use a tent because I don't feel like healing. And fast forward. Okay, seriously? Probably fast forward enough, but apparently not. This stuff over here is ridiculous too. Like, if you let it hit you, it's pretty strong. It gives a lot of experience though. And decent ability points, so... It's actually a pretty fun fight for ability points, but, uh... This isn't the best ability points. There is a cave over here that will give me the best. <sighs> I forgot about that. Please hit him. But yes, that's right, he counters with fucking bio, I forgot about this. You know what? Let's go back to a better time. Where I'm not dying. Because I'm stupid. Fuck it, fire two. Dead. Let's never miss again, because that was stupid. That's what happens when I play in the morning and I'm not even paying attention to my health and I just do stupid shit forever. I forgot how low my health used to be. Whatever. Hey, seriously? Hit him. Twice, preferably. One more time. Hooray! Hey, seriously? Did he just use <sighs> Kill him. Thank God. 
You can see why this is why I don't like grinding here. Like, this is just terrible. So yeah. Just do that, we should be good for health. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to that cave on the way back anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I skip it right now. I'm not really advancing the main quest right now anyway, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of side stuff. If you understand what I mean. Okay, if you use Bile twice again. God damn it. That is stupid. Unbelievable. So yeah, I'm clearly slightly underleveled, and I'm gonna die if I don't use another tent, so. That's actually pretty cool for password. And, please get here. Hooray! <coughs> what do you say? This is the town of Jaquil, where a village is descendant from the blood of a long- of the long ago destroyed kingdom of Lonka. Like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. That would actually be amazing. Please say it's that and nothing else. Hmm. There's a few items I could buy, but I don't really care right now for items. I think there's a piano in this town. Indeed there is. Listen to my piano skills. They're amazing. And I got even better. My skills keep improving every time I play the piano for no reason. Can't talk to her from over here. What do you do? Oh yes, it's this thing. I forgot about this completely. Really? Really? Hey, <laughs> I didn't even read that because that went body on its own really fast. There is no way. One more time. Okay. I can read that. Could not read whatever the previous one was because I that went by pretty fast. Everyone is moving like hyper speed. Really? Really, dude? You got like jittery legs. You too. That old man has like don't do anything dangerous. There are a lot of tricks and strange mechanisms in the cave north of here laid by the ancient people. Well, that's interesting. Everyone seems to be moving faster now. That's freaking me out. So, we'll go in here because I need to buy at least two more of these, two more of these, and forget that. What I can do here is just walk past him, and I need a couple of these, I need a couple of these, and you can keep the rest. Still can't figure out how to switch without having to go through here because L and R aren't working, so I'm assuming you can't. Yeah, if I just optimize, I get way better stuff, so. I should probably sell some of this, actually, there's no point. But this isn't like Final Fantasy 4 where I have so little inventory I have to sell stuff like every five seconds. It's that game's still stupid. Like, just for, like, the inventory space you get, it's pretty stupid. Because I end up having to throw away a bunch of stuff I'd rather not throw away. Even though I never used any of those items either, which I didn't even notice till, like, <laughs> the end of the game. I'm like, yeah, that's right, I had, like, 50 million items I never used. Why? 
So yeah, we might as well just kill this. If I remember correctly, the ones in the back are... Oh yeah, that's right, the Mage Rush thing has a chance of casting Silence. When it does, it goes through like a four second long animation, so... That'll be fun to deal with. Either way... Yellow... Everyone levels up. Hooray. I really needed that, actually, so... For this cave and this cave only. There's a method to my madness. What time is it? I have more time to record, so good. You'll see why. Oh look, it's like the beginning of the game monsters. So you can see I clearly don't need attack power, I just got fast forward boost because no one needs to see this. And as you can see, it's gonna give me like two ability points here. Which is Goal. This cave is great for ability points, I will say that. Easy fights. Great for ability points. What more could you ask for? A trick here. Seriously. It's actually probably better with the archers just in terms of speed, but I grabbed the ninjas for a very good reason. that one. Missed. Which one is it now? Come on. This one. So yeah, wall of switches just there to get you to step around more so that you encounter stuff, obviously. Look how easy these fights are. This is, this is my favorite spot to grind in the world now. Two ability points every fight, no matter what, you're guaranteed at least two. Because 90% of the enemies in that cave are like these guys. So, very easy as far as fights go. Oh boy, I hope this never changes. No, I'm serious, I hope this never changes. You guys might hope it changes, but there's a reason I hope it never changes. Because if it does change, I'm going to be abusing the fuck out of safe states, and you'll see why. Oh boy. You guys will all see, this is going to be terrible in a second. Give it a second.